When that is over with. So this will be a light, kind of a pink cream yes, color. Yes, pink cream. And you pretend, we're going to pretend this is a whole pound of pasta. And you just put it in there and you cook it. And then... It will come back out. Yeah, it comes back out. Wait, wait a minute, let me try it here. Wait a minute, I don't know if I want you to try this particular one. Let me taste it first. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Can no. I taste that one? Well, give me one of them to try. Because we didn't cook all the... All right, we'll do down. dish number one. This is oh, the raw oh. dish. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you can taste this. This is good. <laughs> Make up your mind, here, Christina. Here, taste both of them. Huh. Well, that's great. Mm, this is great. I love them both. <laughs> oh, right, Christina. A chive. So, wait a minute. You could have this. This is incredibly cheap. It's incredibly fun to do, and you'll love it while you're watching... That's incredible on Sunday night. Incredible Sunday. I mean, incredible. Get the title Sunday. right. Oh, what Get am I doing here? We're I don't under know why twenty dollars. Christina, That's thank you right. very, very. Sorry, Woody. I forgot what show I was doing. Best of luck, thank baby. You. For one. Uh, thank you. One. All right, kiss Christina kiss for us. Next, easy ways to make your own Christmas card. Stay with us on home. Mm. has smelled so good. There's there's a vodka and garlic and all kinds of things wafting through the air here. And it's appropriate because we're going to talk Christmas now. Some of the best smells going. But the only person we could think of to follow an act like the one you just saw is Carol Duvall. Hi, Carol. Oh. <laughs> nice to have you here, but boy, you got your work cut out oh, for you. That is a rough act Chris to follow. <laughs> Christmas cards. So, you know, a lot of us look at, they cost so much money. It's not just in the sending, it's in the buying and so forth. Mm -hmm. But you've got some great ideas of how we can make them save a lot of money, make them real inexpensively. Real inexpensively and easily, and that's the key word. If you are not an artist, these are, the for, these are for you. If you're an artist, you can already take care of that. But these are the ones that say, I can't do anything but my own breath. But there are a few basic things. Keep it simple. Otherwise, if you get yourself too involved, you're going to end up hating everybody on that list as you're making those cards. Is that the voice of experience talking Yes, that's there? the voice of experience. <laughs> you got too carried away one year, did you? Too carried away, and I was uh, not in the Christmas spirit by the time I finished, believe me. <laughs> Glad you were You basics. All right, what okay. do you use for the cards themselves? Construction paper is fine. Uh, heavy white paper, and I really like, if you're going to be sending white cards, artist's watercolor paper. You can buy it at the artist supply store. And then do not use a scissors, but do all of your cutting with a sharp razor blade bladed knife and exacto ah. is good and measure carefully now if we're going to take a, a piece like this and do it in a half measure it in half then if you make yourself a cardboard pattern it's easy you can just put it there and cut it you don't have to keep measuring every time then we have one of those do it the same way to cut it to this way but now we're not going to just fold it we are going to score this is important you always score before you make a fold that is lightly press uh, go through it so that you have a crisp fold a professional oh. look to it there's your basic card now for all your measuring and everything it still isn't quite even don't try to even it up you'll get it smaller and smaller simply end up with a postage stamp right. size card this take your your um, your uh, metal edge keep mm -hmm. them together and then cut through both layers and they will both match they may be crooked but they'll both match okay now what are you going to put on those matching sides well that's friend. the thing and here's another way too to save even more money some people are sending postcard christmas cards there you save oh. a dime on your postage every time because okay. they're 15 cents and um you can just use a poster board cut those here's a simple design even the kids can help you with this one a styrofoam ball any size or many sizes cut it in half with a sharp knife or a serrated edge I put a little handle in there. Then, with some um, either poster paint or acrylic paint, like this, clap it up here, looks like, like so. Looks like pumpkin paint. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I try this on a card. And if you get just a little bit of paint, oh, that's a nice one. Or yeah. another one over here. And if it's not enough, you can turn it and keep doing it anyway. Then, with a little gold pen. Put a little top on it like this. Then with a black pen like this, add a few tree branches, and well, you see what you have here, in case you didn't recognize, we have Christmas ornaments. You don't have to do them on white paper. You can do them on green right. if you would want to. Good. All right. Good. Now, That's another pretty simple, simple little one here. You say you're not an artist, but if you can draw feet and a hand and maybe some hair. Now, look. 
put a couple of those silly little eyes in it, and you have a Christmas card that is really a, 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 a silly little person. That's okay. Right. A lot of people like to send right. family Christmas cards too, though. And here you've got a you've got a fun idea for that too. Well, right? this one I use because I happen to have one photo from. Would you believe our family cut the little holes out? But inside, it's mounted on cardboard, suitable for framing <laughs> from the family at home. But it's a really nice idea. It's just great. So simple. Works perfectly. Thanks, Carol. Well, it All looks right. great. Got to get busy, though. It takes a lot of time to do it. And, and everybody's already working on those uh, decorations on the ornaments. for the tree. Oh, I hope you're going to send in your homemade ornaments for our Christmas tree. I've got a couple more to donate, too. Do you? Okay, yes, well, yes, we've yes, got the yes. address for all of you who are busily preparing them at home. The address to send the homemade uh, ornaments, the Home Show, Post Office Box 4340, Hollywood, California, 90028. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Fix some of that pasta for Barbara? Yeah, you bet. I've you still got the garlic have. on my breath. <laughs> Too much fun there. Listen, tomorrow on Home, we're going to visit with a fellow who has been visually impaired since birth. But believe me, that hasn't stopped him from leading a truly remarkable life. He's Tom Sullivan, and he's going to show us his dream home and how he made it adapt to his needs. Jackie Olden's got some tips on baking and how to make substitutions in your recipes. Kitty Bartholomew is going to join us, too. She's going to begin an apartment makeover. Do it for less than $250, and you can do it, too. Good. All right. And <laughs> part three of our series on drugs. Prevention, intervention, and what we as parents can do to keep our children off drugs. Mm. And today, of course, is Election Day, so you be sure to get out there before the Please polls close. Get it. your vote cast, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. So long, everyone. If you'd like more information on the segments you've seen on this week's shows, you'll find it in our weekly home newsletter, number 44. Just send one dollar to home newsletter, issue number 44, post office box 92719, Rochester, New York, 14692. Thursday, the search for Crystal continues on Dynasty. Then, Joanna Kearns and Ed Marinaro host the National Love and Sex Test. Beginning Sunday, the biggest television event of all time, the world will never forget Herman Wolf's War and Remembrance.